some of the shortest games we've ever seen. I feel like because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we saw like a minute and a half Himmelsdorf game or something insane like that one time. Where a team when, just um, went pushing right up the gut and just yeah, somebody went pushing out. right up the middle and they lost like two tanks and then the other enemy team was planning on going hill, but then they just like turned around and just just pushed through. You know, flare opting for that light play on and then flare didn't Supreme, flare just like merc FHS um for their last battle on Himmels when like they played south and they got bled so much too much, and then Flair just pushed it. I think yeah. Well. I think that was that round. So and then, Flair and then one team for... got caught. One team got caught. They were like always, they'll be like t- two and a half minute matches. Like I remember one team got caught in like a weird South play camp. You remember that? Where actually uh-huh. it was, sim- I think it might have been Verbology that did it. They had like a mouse and E100 and they set them down South and then the enemy team went to push in and they, they got capped out or something. Or that might have been a minor league team that I saw. No, I'm pretty sure this happened here. Flair had run some heavier defenses before, but in mm-hmm. these last like two weeks or so, they've been opting for the kind of double one thirteen. It was like a weird. Style. It was like an attack. It was a weird attack where they had like two people on the offside and they just had so much HP, like they couldn't kill them. It was weird. But it, like Eternal this is like this is a really line. interesting one here. Like a E one hundred and a mouse both going hill. They had two. Like we should talk about the lineups a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, very heavy. Very heavy, right? And E one hundred. A mouse, two IS4s, a Kronwagen, and a VZ. Now, the interesting thing is a Kron. Yeah. So, they're using the Kron on the hill. I'm guessing they want to be able to shoot down into some of those areas at C7-8. It can kind of do it, but also to watch from D0. I'm... But overall, I'm a little bit less on understanding of it but against the lineup they're facing it's not like the worst thing because they have so many super heavies with them but you know gun can be derpy at times but eight line defense from flare and you saw the batch had also watching that k4 that's the trigger for flare and since external left they stuck the e3 onion there he's able to see k4 so no one can get to that half of the map without him seeing it because the Ice Force giving some 8-line eyes, so nothing can kind of get out that way. So they, they are not worried about anyone appearing anywhere K2, F2, C2. That just is impossible to happen without their knowledge. But it's going to be 4-2 yeah. split. That's a lot of HP for Bird Biology. So remember, guys, once this brawl eventually starts, it's 2,500 in favor of Bird Biology before a single shot is fired. That's basically a, that's a Kronwagen worth of HP. Because going for the bat chat as well as the, the the light lineup, I mean, they, they may just not have enough staying power to withstand this this onslaught that's about to come their way, led by Major Pain. So first and shot bounces Dodo his bouncing his first shot, and Major Pain actually has the big gun, so this is gonna be big alpha, and then everybody else is gonna be clean up. <gasps> oh, and he but bounces. But it doesn't pen. And then we have They're... the Octo and the uh, Mouse coming down on the hill, and it's gonna be a three versus. Six here. Oh, Major, Major going down, down so first. quickly, even though he was an E100. Dodo overpoking this. They're probably looking to kill Nexus here. External now clipping into Muscles. Muscles turning around. But actually, he's clipping into OP. He's trying to kill the VZ. Yeah, Bloop now starting to run. Dark is on reload and running, but Bloop stayed just a second too long. They're getting out maneuvered by kind of the slower tanks. Onion and They're has trying to arrived. keep Bloop alive here, having December simp. They're trying to get, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, OP alive here. It looks like Dark is now going to be able to clip Muscles, and Muscles is most likely going to go down here while he's fighting in an E3 and a 50B. Ooh, that tracking. Ooh, Dark oh, the perma perma track. Flare is still down about 4,000 HP now. Onion does pen that shot, and now Dark Ninja needs to get the kill, and he, and he does. And he does, but he might be stuck. Oh, he's- he is! He's stuck! He needs yeah. help! He's stuck because, Onion like... Onion can't afford to stop. Externals on fire as well. He misses the last shot in this clip as he starts to run away. Onion, oh no. Onion trying to figure out who to shoot at. And it's over. Uh, Team it Flare, not a terrible strat at all, but in the end... I think the tank picks got the better of them. I wasn't paying enough attention during the tank picking to see mm-hmm. exactly the order of stuff, but uh, 
they they needed a little bit more beef with it. The, the it's really bat interesting chat bringing is, a bat chat on. We've seen. Have, it was have, for the is, has anybody eyes, ever won with a bat chat on defense? I feel like they haven't. They, they they may have done it once, but the problem was they didn't. They needed Not the them specifically, eyes but just anybody, to know a hundred percent. But they were facing an E one hundred and a mm -hmm. mouse and stuff and an E three. They didn't so do you think the that the chat. bat chat was like a, a first pick, or maybe the E one hundred and the mouse were last picks? That's the only thing I can think of. Because E one hundred and a mouse could be last picks because if you could if they be. pick two IS fours, a Kron and a VZ, you kind of don't know what's going on. You probably think they're the next tanks are going to be like an E three and a mouse or something, right? Not an E one hundred and a a mouse or you know maybe a 50b or something like that yeah and they just they just needed more staying power they needed more solid stuff there. i mean you can see external though in his batch i mean he got out forty thousand damage he got so out even though so major pain like i guess he could say that he lagged out again because he did zero damage interesting to also opt to keep major in i mean that they have to be confident that he's like okay uh to play but uh to me, it's just, I mean, we don't know what their comms are like, so, yeah, but, I mean, he, he bounced some shots, but, geez, I'm just thinking what it could have, should have, it's hard, it's mm -hmm. hard, though, man, I'm, I'm trying to, like, criticize Flair, but at the same time, if I was there, would I have changed, like, I, realistically, what do I pick later, right, you start with, maybe, say, double 113 IS4, and then mm. you pick, like, an E3 and then the 50b and then the last pick i guess instead of the bat shed it would have been something more, but still I, I don't know it's it's awkward because the 113s are like good but even against that they just aren't able to get punished on them coming in on the eight line so yeah plus it was like a 3v6 there for a little bit right until external mm -hmm. and, and like uh you know for example skip you know came in right because they're a bat shed and e3 on the offside mm-hmm and yet you just saw, I mean, double IS4, Mousy 100 is just so much. Yeah, HP. I think their HP in the beginning, it was uh, over 1,700. It's 2,500 more. Yeah, it's, I counted. Yeah, it's 2,500 more HP. Or 17,000. It was 17,000 overall. I don't know why. I said oh, that. oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. 17,000 overall. I think you're right. I think it was like four something, 4K more. Mm -hmm. It's insane. We're going into tank picks here. Flair, so Flair trying something different, it just did not work. Right. Can't fault them for trying something a little bit different with how they went about it, but now it's attack time. Let's see what they decide to do with their tank picks on attack. They are down 2-1 to one against Burbology. Burbology, though, just not overcomplicating it. Yeah, they brought a Kron volume, which was weird, and I'm sure, again, I'd have to go back to the tank picks to see the order in which that was done. But in the end, it's like, you know, what else could that have been? I mean, it could have been a 113. It could have been uh, a medium tank. And maybe the Kron was that last pick. Or the mouse, I don't know. 277, 60 TP. First 60 TP we're going to see tonight. And actually, ironically, not seeing a 60 TP in the last round. Could say that's all they needed. A could have been and burbo readies up a menagerie of is 750p is4 vz they can go a lot of different ways with that but they've already got two autoloaders readied up player just thinking about it super conquer 27750p again not seeing a lot of super conquerors brought on himmelsdorf i'm still a little surprised that we don't see it more I mean, that whole play in there on the 8-line, imagine mm -hmm. if there's just Super Conquerors there. Now, they are slow as heck to, to be able to rotate around, but still, they just... They have so much HP and such high DPM. They will have maybe struggle a little bit with things like E100 Mouse Turret at times. A little bit, but not too bad. Look at that 705A! It's Burbology! Smiley, uh... Why don't you talk about the 705A? <laughs> um, so... The 705A is usually played by... This him butter, um, and he basically does memes with it. Um, so it goes like forty four, I think, with the, you know, with like turbo and stuff. It can go pretty quickly. Uh, side armor is a meme, right? It has six fifty alpha, three seventeen heat pen. So it's not like insane. I know its dispersion values are abysmal, right? Mm -hmm. Um, if I had to pick between a 705a and a 60tp i don't know i'd probably pick a 60tp but 
depending on where they play it, it actually could work really, really well. Yeah, there's two positions in particular that strike me. It's that E1, F1 position for the 705A or uh, the church at A67 because most teams put an IS4 there, but I feel like a 705A could be okay there, but maybe it's just a little... You're talking about like, yeah. A6, like, I mean, but... Eh. The gun's so derpy and it looks like it's going to be two-line play for them and Team Flare going up the hill with everything. Uh, double 277. 50B is pretty light still. Uh, they have some heavies with, with Dark Ninja and 60 TP, Bloop and the Super Conk, but it's generally pretty light. And Dodo's actually the one playing the E3. He used to play the E3 for me all the time on this map, and I don't think he had been playing it for Flare. I want to say it was Dark Ninja that had been playing it typically for them on Himmelstor. I think so, yeah. But Dark is in a 60 TP. I mean, it could you could switch them up either way. I mean, mm -hmm. Dark in an E3 and I mean, Dodo's probably nutty. In a they both have team. so much experience doing mm -hmm. all of the roles that I'm sure it's seamless. I think I know. I remember Dark saying he hates the E3 though, so that might be a reason. Ooh, look at that! I remember you know, Dodo's we actually didn't look at the HP of the 705A. Ugh, it's 28:30. Yeah, that's nice. It's it's quite a, little a bit, bit. It's a little bit less than an IS4. They go about the same speed, and it has 650 alpha. Mm -hmm. And Flare only down, what, 700-ish HP compared to Verbology this time. I mean, it's much closer overall. It might be like a, they might, so this might be their strat, um, you know, from the get-go. Is to just, like, push hard south, and then if they don't have that push hard, you know, if there's nothing there, maybe the Sun 5A ends up being, like, an anchor, at, like, in the, you know, D8 section. And so when the enemy team comes down, I mean, it just collapses them, right? Mm-hmm. And Burbology's lineup it, Oh, here it's they a go. heavy flex lineup because it doesn't scream that it's a two line play, but it really it says that like we could have the IS four and seven to five A anchor in positions, but they know they don't have an E three. That's interesting that he chose to side scrape and not just drive across. Cause like what would he have done if they weren't if they were there? Fair point, because are they gonna go back up the hill? Yeah. And there isn't really a good tank to get the resets onto Nexus. Uh, and you and can so see look at the timing. The line. If he would have poked that, like, what was that, 15 this seconds This doesn't later? look good for Burbology. I'll be completely honest. They're going to cross no, this does, line. It... The E3 is going to get a shot. And then all these guns are going to open up on them when they come down this way. Dark Ninja's come in really close. He's actually see how fast that 5 a is? Dark, that is, I don't think, a good idea the way you just engage that. You needed to, like, maybe get one, but just just hold it for a second. And look at this. Everyone's coming back. They're going to try to get away from the 50B and the VZ's clips. And look, they're pushing each other as they try to just get each other into their teammates' guns. And, and dude, it looks like Burbology is doing a way better job at it. Also, leaving Octo there. Octo can do 650. He's just going to start doing damage. Maybe looking to pick Nexus here. He is looking to pick Nexus. Kenway's gonna die here in a and moment, he and then the Senpai for Baldur are down 4 try He's trying to make uh, Octo a hold down. Octo now going to Simp for his boys. This is all flare. They they had too much yeah. of the opening salvo and too many guns too close. The the tanks at A6 were just too far away and couldn't get the shots up. They were just seconds away. Muscle's now getting his clip out though in the blue, but yeah, I think it's just gonna be too little, too late. That though, that bumper car fiesta that's what you see a lot of times in in competitive play and it may not look glamorous but i i love seeing stuff like that because it's just <laughs> all instinctual mm -hmm. you have to figure out your momentum you have to see where people are going and it's not perfect but you're just trying to and burbo had a good initial with it but it just they just slipped through right and while you're I trying to that, block them, you're also I mean, getting Team Flare played it right, though. You know what I mean? They did. They absolutely I mean, they did. played it so right. The E3 got the crossing shot, I think, and then they just went. They W keyed. And that's the problem with the, the lineup that Burbology brought. Uh, it's not a problem overall. It's just you're seeing kind of a little bit here, guys. Why do teams bring an E3 on defense a lot of times? It's like, oh, well, it's cold down here. Does this... One of the reasons is so that it can do things like get the resets on that A-line pretty easily or mm -hmm. to stick an eyes for at the church is just to get those resets easily. And when you don't have that option, Flair puts on the pressure on the A-line and they force you to drive into their crossfire that they set in Smiley post-game stats. You, wow. Tell me about the damage you see. 
So we see that three people got over 3k damage on Team Flare. 3,300 from Bloop, 3,500 from External, and 3,400 from Dodo. And then as you can see, Octo doing 3,100 in the 705A and Muscles doing 3,200 in the 50B. Now, what is the most surprising thing here is actually the fact that Major, pa Major Pain and Kenley both did zero damage, which is really weird. Because it was literally like a four on four brawl. So I don't know mm -hmm. how Major that was the happened. first to die, I think, and then Kenway was second. I saw Kenway die second, but yeah. they still needed to get a shutout. Now maybe they got ammo rank. I think um, the only thing I'm thinking is like they both bounced dark and then just got picked really quickly and maybe like some bodies were in oh, the way or something. Possibly. See, I didn't like what Dark did with his but like I thought he, it was fine at first, but when he took like the third shot, I thought it was a mistake. But he mm -hmm. also just took the hits on the gun that has the low DPM, high alpha, high HP, and didn't die for it. And didn't become really a pick or an isolation for it. And it allowed just the fact that maybe they didn't get to volley Onion or Nexus down, allow those guns to stay alive that much longer. Yeah, uh, it was almost like... It, it was... If they were going to do that... Like, the way Burbo played that, if you're going to do that, they actually probably should have ignored 